Hello, welcome to The Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and here's another Meals of the Week video and I hope that this video finds you safe and well and that you've had some lovely things to eat as well this week. So um, there's a couple of meals from the freezer this week because you know when you just get one of those weeks, don't you, when you can't fit everything in and that was how it was this week really. But um, that's the point I think in, in batch cooking is so that um, when you've actually got a time when you haven't got time to cook or um, as on one of these days you just couldn't be bothered to cook then you know having something homemade and ready to go in the freezer is just um, a real treat. So on the end as well there's um, a little bit of um, well I've got a mini rant which I'll get to <laughs> afterwards and then there's um, some uh, beautiful mid wales countryside and also i just want to show you some exciting news about our pond in the garden so let's have a look at what we ate this week so starting on sunday i um, was on my own this evening so i just got a single portion of this one layer lasagna which i made from a tom kerridge recipe ages ago I just got this out of the freezer so this was 434 calories. So there's actually no pasta in this uh, dish. It's layered with a uh, courgette or zucchini. Um, and then it's got a, a kind of, um, instead of a bechamel sauce or anything on the top, it's, it. well, I think I used um, cork and also some mozzarella. But anyway, 434 calories. And it was, it was quite nice. But um, yeah, give me the pasta version any day. And then on to um, Monday, I had steak. So uh, this was just a, a sirloin steak, which I just pan fried. And then I served that with some roasted potatoes. And these were just chopped up and, and roasted with some spray oil, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper and a few herbs. And then I also served that with some roasted tomatoes and then with a big dollop of Dijon mustard on the side. And that was 577 calories. Um, steak is uh, a meat that I really enjoy eating, but my husband's not a big steak fan. So I tend not to, to cook it very often, but occasionally I'll have a treat and I'll treat myself. And that's what I did on this evening. So that was 577 calories. And then on Tuesday, uh, if you watch my recipe videos you will have seen this already this is veg chili so vegetarian chili served here with rice um, a low low fat salsa just with some lime juice and a sprinkling of cheese and I'll link the recipe down below if anyone's interested to go and have a look at that but that was 407 calories for that entire plate and the vegetarian chilli is really, well, it's so simple and it's so very, very tasty and really, really low in calories. So for a plate of food that big with cheese and rice on the plate, the fact that it's only 407 calories is really good. And I made a big batch. I made a portion, uh, eight portions. So we ate two and I've got six in the freezer. And what I've started to do now is use bags for stuff that I freeze rather than boxes. And it just means I can get more in the freezer. And then on Wednesday, I just did some chicken thighs and I just pan fried these with uh, some garlic and lemon juice and also some chicken stock and then I served that with cauliflower cheese and peas just for a change because um, yeah I just well it was what we fancied so that's what we had and so that was 512 calories it could have been much less if you wanted to do the same kind of thing but use chicken breast um, and also obviously if you don't put a cauliflower cheese and you just use a different green vegetable in fact <laughs> talking about so it could have been much less calories if it was a completely different meal <laughs> anyway it was uh, 512 calories and it was really nice and then on Thursday we uh, just had a salad and I, I had to buy an iceberg lettuce from the local shop which I'm I, I don't mind it, but it's not my favourite. But anyway, so um, just made a salad with obviously the usual salad stuff, but also I put in some toasted pine nuts or fried off pine nuts and then some uh, roast potatoes in there as well, some little roast potatoes and then some um, parmesan shavings and served that with 
there was some that was the uh, beef stir fry strips that you would have seen in my food hall last week they look a bit dry there but they weren't dry at all and then I just drizzled a bit of balsamic drizzle over the top and that was a huge plate of food in fact when we were eating it my husband said I seem to have been eating this for ages and got in nowhere <laughs> it did take a long time to eat but it was really nice and it was 427 calories so that's not too bad at all really considering there's beef in there and cheese and potatoes and pine nuts and pine nuts are ridiculously calorific but I only used about 10 grams between us so it was okay and it added a nice little bit of texture to the salad that it wouldn't ordinarily have had. And then on Friday we had something out of the freezer again and this looks awful. I, I uh, Yeah, sorry about that. It looks like a, a just a dollop of horribleness on a plate but it was tasty it was really tasty so it was chorizo and bean stew from a previous batch cook and I think they're black eyed beans that I use there and this has got potatoes in it as well so I think it just mushed down a little bit in the freezer but nonetheless it actually tasted really nice um chorizo is just such a fabulous flavor and it just adds so much to any dish um I think it's much underrated. Anyway, that uh, plate of food there was 405 calories. And again, you know, the second freezer meal this week. Um, yep, yeah, it just pays to have them in there. And then on Saturday, um, again, I'm not. Um, I'm not kind of wrapping myself in glory here with the uh, <laughs> with presentation of the dishes. But again, this was lovely. This was just a, a chicken pasta bake. So I used chicken thighs again um, and it was a uh, spiced chicken pasta bake so it had got chilli running through it, some tomatoes, some peppers and then I just topped it with some light mozzarella and also some parmesan and then just baked that in the oven so it looks awful but it tasted really really good. Um, pasta is one of my favourite things to eat it's just brilliant anyway because of the cheese and because I had a uh, quite a big portion of pasta that came to 574 calories now I'm just going to have a little bit of a rant here about something that I bought in my shopping hall last week so I bought this galaxy light to make um, hot chocolate in my velvetizer from Cheryl at What's for Tea and I've just opened it and look at that it's like halfway down halfway down and it's just it's not that's not settling is it that's not settling because of transport or anything that's literally a double sized um pot for the amount of stuff that's in there and it's yeah it's almost deceitful don't you think it tasted nice but goodness me and um the the Cadbury's one uh, is much fuller and bigger as well and you get more portions but I did like the Galaxy one to be fair anyway so a uh, tiny little rant there that annoys me that does when the packaging is ridiculously big so I'm ranting over some glorious views here so this is the forestry at Sugarloaf and um, yeah it's just beautiful I love this valley it's like it, you, you're right up quite high and then you can look down into it and you can see the sheep usually, although I can't see any at the moment. They might be at the farm ready for lambing. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you this exciting news of our pond. So, well, I think it's exciting. You might think it's really boring. But um, we had quite a lot of frog spawn in the pond just at the, the back of it, which is where I'm stood here well kneeling down here and I don't know whether you can see but the tadpoles are starting to come out can you see all that movement in the water and that's the tadpoles moving around so we should have loads of frogs soon and in our pond which we've only just uh, cleared really it it was completely covered in a uh, yellow flag before so we've had it un un uncovered you know we've got rid of a lot of the things and um, we've got a kingfisher that comes and visits us now we called her kitty because she is in fact a female kingfisher and so we put a couple of poles up and she sits on the edge and uh, catches things we haven't got any fish in there but we have got uh, newts and other kind of aquatic creatures including now uh, lots of tadpoles so anyway just a bit of the pond Right, so that's it really, yeah, um, meals of the week, a little bit of a rant, some mid Wales countryside and some tadpoles, oh, I spoil you, I really do. 
<laughs> anyway, I, I really, um, I, I, I'm still amazed that people watch and like these videos, to be fair. Um, but um, anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for liking them. And thank you for all of the interactions that I get from you guys. It really does mean a lot. And I'm sorry if I don't reply to comments straight away because obviously I work. Well, obviously I do work. So I really do this all at the weekend. So I will always get round to answering comments and things, but it just might take a little while. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Um, and I will hopefully see you on the next one, which should be a haul on Wednesday. So look forward uh, to seeing you then. In the meantime, you take care of yourself and those that you love. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.